What's going on, guys? To episode four here of hashtag GSM for GM and WWE 2K23 My GM Mode. We are one week out from, I believe, SummerSlam is our first pay per view because we're doing the 25 week a season thing. I don't really get it myself. Uh, we are heading into SummerSlam. We have our big pay per view set. This is our go home show edition of SmackDown tonight. Um, almost a full show. We did not book our second promo due to the fact that we already have two tag team matches on the show. And I don't have a deep enough roster to book a third promo, but the other brands Raw and NXT normally don't anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but this is what our show is looking like for tonight. Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy, taking on Wesley and AJ Styles. I'm still in the process of going through what my pay-per-view card's going to look like. So it's either going to be AJ, I mean... I don't think we're doing a four-way. I was thinking at one point, do we do a four-way to determine a number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship? Uh, that was a possibility, and I might still do that. I'm not sure. I think it might make more sense to break them all up into separate matches, specifically AJ and Chad, who are feuding, and Wes and Otis. Uh, Bailey going to call out Charlotte Flair, the SmackDown Women's Champion. She beat Roxy and Perez last week, so she wants a championship shot at some point. Uh, Matt Riddle going to go one on one with Shinsuke Nakamura. Riddle is the um, you know hometown hero on this show. Nakamura is the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship at the pay per view. We have Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley taking on Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade. So this is where I'm going to determine what the pay per view matches are going to be. I I'm thinking Cora and Rhea Ripley again. Uh, Rhea is 0 and 2 against Cora, so Rhea looking for that third win here. To determine it's not a, a fluke. And Roxanne lost in her singles debut on SmackDown against Charlotte and also against Bailey. So honestly, it might make more sense to do Bailey and Charlotte at the pay per view and not Roxanne. Um, but we'll see. Ilya Dragunov making his SmackDown debut tonight in promo form, calling or just a self promo. I'll uh, probably have him face Matt Riddle on next week's show. And then in the main event, Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor, where they run in from Randy Orton to uh, not set up, we were already doing this, but a triple threat for the SmackDown World Championship, which is such a dumb name, but whatever, um, at the pay-per-view. So, we will not watch this match. Let's see. We can't watch this one, so it's either this match, probably this match we'll watch. Because, um, then uh, maybe we'll watch, I don't, I don't know. There's really no stakes in this one. This one's more important, so we'll probably have to watch this match. But that's our show. Um, everything else is pretty basic as usual. You know, basic arena, crew, special effects, advertisement, whatever. Uh, no power cards. Let's see, real steel. We have five available power cards. To the Moon, only usable on superstars with less than 60 popularity. Um, we'll use... I mean, who can we use this on? Less than 60 popularity. Less than 60 popularity for Chad, Otis... Wesley does not qualify. He's at 60. Riddle is possible. I mean, we can use it on Dragunov, actually. After his next match. Um, we should definitely use it on Roxanne. Let's see. Oh. No, don't want to buy that. Uh, to the Moon. Let's use that on Roxanne Perez. Mm, boom. Yes. Cool. Um, anything else? Legends, no. Cactus Jack selecting a pros and brands. Two superstars will participate in their show. Next week will be injured. Selected at random. And their show next week. I'll use this honestly. Um, let's use it on NXT. Because they're the ones that are winning currently. The pay-per-view's next week. So let's do that. Alright. So I think we'll go with that. I think we're set otherwise. Uh, the season stuff. I fulfilled five promises. I still have to surpass $400,000 in the bank. I should do that this week. $600,000 is on the horizon. And it's complete five challenges this season. Um, I, I assume I... Emmanuel, thank you for your help throughout the show so far. As far as filling me in. As far as what I need to do. Helpful tips. Stuff like that. I assume I get a trophy for fulfilling all of these things on the left. And as soon as we get ten trophies, we make it into the Hall of Fame. Pretty sure that's how this works. I also, by the way, well, I guess I'll discuss that when we get going here. But uh, let's let's book this, and then I'll discuss I'll discuss what I was going to discuss. Um, let's see, confirm show. 
Yep, looks good. Oh, by the way, I forgot Balor and Lesnar in the main event. Extreme Rules match. Uh, I think per the Triple H promise this week, that's what I had to make it. Uh, so we're going to watch the women's tag match, not this one. That one has higher stakes in my mind, so we'll do that one. Uh, we will spectate this one. No, no, not spectate. Sorry, simulate. One, two, two, three. Otis and Chad Gable picking up the victory. I like that. There are the heels keeping the baby faces in chase mode. I like that. Bailey calls out. Damn, damn weak promo from Bailey. Not a good promo. Not calling out Charlotte. Matt Riddle taking on Shinsuke Nakamura in his hometown. And he emerges victorious, beating Shinsuke. Uh, new rivalry between Zayn and Riddle, interestingly. Uh, is Nakamura feuding with Zayn? I thought he was. There are two feuds going on right now. Oh, wait, we will spectate this match. Rhea Ripley and Charlotte versus Roxanne and Cora Jade. All right, boom. All right, so what I was going to discuss before, what I was going to bring up, I was interested in doing universe mode because I love, GM mode has been fun so far, but I just don't love, I mean, this is going to sound dumb. I don't love like the competitive nature of it. I mean, which is the whole fucking point, I get it. Um, in years past, when I played GM mode in other games, I just like to book by myself and just make matches and not just do shit randomly for fucking ratings. I'll probably just continue to, I mean, I'm finishing this season, obviously. Uh, I'll probably continue to do it anyway. Um, regardless of, like, whether I win and lose. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to lose because I'm not booking for fucking ratings. I understand that. So, um, skip this scene. Blah, 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 blah. Universe mode, you can't do promos. That's what I like about GM mode is that you can do promos and backstage attacks and stuff like that. You can't do that with, um with universe mode so with universe mode you just book matches and shit I don't like that so I don't know well I guess we'll see how it plays out in, in the weeks ahead and whatnot maybe I change my mind but I, I, I would rather do GM mode because I just think it makes the most sense if you have like the promos in there the rivalries or building to something you're facing other brands I don't like the shit that they do because it's fucking dumb uh, honestly in the perfect world I would just I would just control all of it although it would take forever to fucking book so I probably will never do that at least not here in video form uh, we'll probably stick with GM mode ultimately I like universe mode I like to have your own rosters and change the championships and like oh yeah you can incorporate this but there's no fucking promos and I don't want to write the promos myself obviously but you can't even do a promo segment to build up a feud. It always has to be matches, which I think is fucking wrong. Charlotte going after Roxanne here as we get underway. Honestly, Roxanne picking up the victory for her team would be perfect. So I can kind of explain why she's getting a title shot or why she would get a title shot. If she loses again, I don't know how I give her a title shot of the paper. It just doesn't make sense. In comes Rhea Ripley here. Rhea's had issues with Cora since the start of our season. Uh, Cora has beaten Rhea Ripley multiple times, and uh, that being twice, including in a tables match. So she's upset Rhea. Uh, Rhea wants a rematch of the pay-per-view to ensure that it was not a fluke either time. Roxanne Perez reverses, lays out Charlotte. Very nice. She's going to tag in Cora finally. Okay, Roxanne's hurt. There we go. Tags in Cora. This is babyface Cora, by the way, as well. I guess they didn't have time to get heel Cora into the game. Although she turned heel in, like, fucking July or August. Uh, the game came out in March. So I'm a little surprised that they couldn't make the heel render of Cora. We've seen other renders of other people in these games um, that were, like, their character as of, like, August or September. They're in the game, so I don't know. I know, like, Dexter Loomis is in the game, people like that. But they were in the last game, so it was easy to add them. Out goes Cora Jade. Uh, I'm sure in the next game, obviously, she'll have her heel character that she has currently in, in NXT. So, Cora has got Rhea. Uh, oh, my God. She's just throwing her around. Okay, here we go. Uh, Cora taking advantage of Rhea again. Boom! Nice forearm of the face. They're tagging Roxanne. I don't think that's wise. Roxanne is not really... Not really healed it up at all. Healed up at all since she was last in the ring. All right, nice drop down. Boom. Okay. 
Leapfrog, nice, nice arm drag from Roxanne. That was all she was good for, I guess, because in comes Cora again. These two are a cohesive unit. If we, if we do women's tag team titles, which I don't know, if at some point maybe we will, uh, I will add more women to the roster, more men to the roster, have a deeper roster. I just wanted to make the goal of having, you know, a certain amount of money in the bank. Uh, we will have a deeper roster going forward at some point. More people I can use. Because again, if we're just sticking with GM mode and I don't do universe mode, I think it just makes more sense to uh, add more people, do more storylines. We can't change the amount of matches, but that's fine. Oh, nice knee from Cora there. Boom. And especially now that you can do mid-card titles, like that was my big hang-up with GM mode in the last game, was that you didn't have mid-card titles, you couldn't do multi-person matches, you couldn't do more than like two or three different stipulation matches. That's changed now. So I don't like the fact that the CPUs are doing like dumb shit in order to get ratings. That's just how it works. Um, I'm more of a logical booker. But I'll probably just end up sticking with GM mode because this just makes the most sense. Pinfall here from Rhea. One, two, okay, and kick out at two. Rhea's health is like significantly down, even at this point more than uh, Roxanne. Oh, tagging in Roxanne, speaking of the devil. All right, boom, boom. Why isn't Rhea tagging at the Charlotte, by the way? She's got her ass kicked for the last like fucking five minutes. Roxanne, boom! Nice uppercut in the corner. Go for the win, Charlotte coming on in. She would have broken it up anyway. Mm, wasn't that close, Byron? No, no, no. No, kick to the back. So we got the pay-per-view coming up on Saturday, Sunday, however it fucking works in the game. Although it counts as a completely separate week. Uh, again, I'm just still not sure exactly what we'll do, but we'll see. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. All right, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? Boom! All right, head in the turnbuckle. Head in the turnbuckle post. Boom. If we unlock the next arena for week five for the pay-per-view, I'll probably buy that. I don't want SummerSlam happening in the fucking Capital Wrestling Center. Oh, wow. Kick out of Rhea's got to tag out the shot. The fact that, okay, she's looking for it now. I don't think she'll get the chance, though. She's quite a ways away. Roxanne's being a fucking idiot. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Roxanne's a moron. Why would she not stop that instead of posing? She's the baby face. All right, Charlotte throwing Roxanne gets the ropes and gets out of it. Okay. Boom, laser out. Significant size difference between the two. One. Boom, nice DDT there from Roxanne. She's got the cover. One, two. What, what, you pinned her? Roxanne just pinned Charlotte. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. But Charlotte got the rope, though. I actually, this is a really good storytelling because Charlotte can now claim that it was a fluke as well. A lot like with Rhea and Cora. Wow, that's a great finish, actually. That was perfect because now we can do Roxanne and Charlotte of the pay per view. Oh, I like this a lot. I like that a lot. That was really, really well done. Again, I, I don't go into these spectated matches expecting what I want to happen to happen uh, but that was perfect that was perfect alright good stuff mediocre match again I, I don't give a shit about the ratings it doesn't really do much for me anyway um, alright good stuff continue sell promo from Ilya Good promo. A better promo than Bailey. That's surprising. And then Brock and Finn Balor. I don't know why I said Brock like that. Extreme Rules match. Finn Balor beating the SmackDown World Champion. Amazing match. Rivalry grows between Orton and Balor. Good stuff. Uh, I really... Can we just simulate the... I really don't care about any of this, to be completely honest. I feel like we waste time even looking at this yet. Simulate their show. I just... They're doing Ray, or no, it was Ricochet and Logan for like the longest time. Although Ricochet or Johnny and Gunter versus uh, Montez and I was going to say that it has potential. I just don't give a shit, actually. And we get killed again. Although our main event wasn't bad. Um, all right, we continue. 40,000 fans, uh, $661,000. So we surpassed the 
four hundred thousand um, dollar what's it called threshold. So I guess we get that trophy or accomplishment or whatever. Uh, they lost money Raw did, but they got fourteen thousand more fans than we did. And then NXT got forty three thousand fans. So not terrible actually. You've successfully accomplished the commissioner's goal this week. They have rewarded you with this power card for your efforts. Sold out. Select an opposing brand. Double the price of their power cards in the shop next week. Okay, interesting. Um, we earned a power card by completing the seasonal challenge. Big bucks. Um, only usable on superstars with less than 60 popularity. Plus 15 pop... Oh, we already did it. Why am I reading it? We already used it. I know what it means. So Raw has actually surpassed NXT. Interesting. We're still down significantly, so we're not going to win. But I care about a quality show, not fucking winning. I know that sounds like a baby thing to say, but it's true. Veto applied. Blocking a superstar. We can't book our most popular superstar next week's show. Fuck, did they really use that shit on us? Brock Lesnar can't compete in the show this... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Fuck, because they use that bullshit on us. Hey, something's coming up and I can't use Brock Lesnar taking part in the show. So we can't even have a universal title match. Fuck. So we'll probably just... Well, I mean, honestly, because it's a three-way feud, Orton and uh, Balor will have to suffice. We'll have to suffice. Hey, what's that stunt you just pulled? Uh, it had to be done. Let's see. You like that? Gotta get dirty if you want to win. It has to be done. You would have done the same thing in my position. I mean, yeah, that's that's a fair thing to say. You're right, I would have, and I will. You better watch out. Uh, Triple H is Riddle versus Nakamura. It's okay to match up role breakers against each other or to have a contest between fan favorites. Just be aware your audiences will always respond best to role breakers against fan favorites. We know. I don't care. Um, sometimes you have to put on matches that stray away from that formula, but remember, it's a formula for a good reason. Okay. Finn Balor says that loser Randy Orton attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to stand for garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Well, you're going to get that fucking chance tonight at SummerSlam. Obviously, buddy. Um, yes, I can do that. Good. You mess with Balor, you pay the price. Charlotte says, listen, I need to wipe that smug smile off of Perez's face after that loss. I want to fight her within the next two weeks. Again, you're going to get that shot because I was going to do that anyway. Okay. I just say, okay, good. I'll show everyone who the real winner is this time. All right, exit to booking. Sure that your least popular available fighter is in a match this week. I mean, everyone's going to be the thing on the show. Um, let's see. So we're going to have to do Randy Orton. Can we do? Brock's not available at all, right? Okay, yeah. I'm just, I'm just checking, just checking. Um... So we will make this, not Hell in a Cell. Let's see. Last Man Standing seems about right. We'll make it Last Man Standing. We already did Falls Count Anywhere. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll do Falls Count Anywhere in the main event. Um, Ilya versus Matt Riddle. Wait, is our Shinsuke? Shinsuke has no feud, honestly. So maybe we could say that Matt Riddle, by virtue of beating Nakamura, he gets the title shot instead. I'm sorry, I mean, that's just what the feud is. Let's see. All right. Ilya versus Shinsuke. Or no, we're not going to do that match, right? We're going to... I don't know. Maybe we will. I'm not really sure. Um, Cora. So it's going to be Cora. We're going to do five matches. The two women's title matches and intercontinental title. So we will just... Let's see. Clear this promo. Ilya will call out um, Shinsuke and we'll do that match next week on SmackDown. So we'll do that. Um, Riddle and Zayn we're doing for the championship. SmackDown Championship. So, and then the two... Let's see. Wesley and Otis as well. We'll probably do that to start the show. Wesley and Otis. We'll make it a... We'll just do a rematch. We'll do a rematch for now. Just a regular match. Um... 
Maybe we do interference from someone. And AJ can maybe try to call out chat or something. I'm not sure. Alright, interference. Let's see here. All right, we're going to do that. So we have the two women's title matches and the intercontinental title match. We'll do the intercontinental title match next. I mean, what is Charlotte and... Yeah, no, we'll do Charlotte and... and... Interesting, okay. Let's see. We'll do Charlotte and Rhea, or Charlotte and uh, Roxanne, probably three. Because Cora and Rhea is still a level one feud for some reason. That shit didn't progress, which is annoying, but whatever. Let's see. Bop, 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 boop. Shinsuke. What was I going to do? Sammy and Riddle, right? Yep, for the Intercontinental Championship. All right. We will do the women's title match, or just a regular women's match. Um, We already did... We'll do an Extreme Rules match. We already did tables with Rhea and um, Korra. So we'll do that again. Let's see. And then the women's title match, just a regular match. All right, perfect. So then for our promos, these are the three promos we have. Bailey will call out Roxanne. How is she getting a title shot? I beat her, blah, blah, blah. That makes sense. Um, AJ and Nakamura is also free. We'll just have Nakamura, like, do a backstage promo. He accepts Ilya's fucking challenge. And then he's calling out Chad. Okay, so Chad can still inter get involved in this match. All right, this is... All right, this looks good, actually. It's actually a pretty good show, I think. Um, Otis and Wesley will continue their feud one-on-one -on -one here. A regular match. Interference from Chad Gable. Ilya call, calling out Shinsuke Nakamura for his in-ring debut on SmackDown next week. Sami Zayn versus Matt Riddle for the Intercontinental Championship. Bailey going to be calling out Roxanne Perez. Rhea Ripley versus Cora Jade in an Extreme Rules match. Shinsuke Nakamura accepting Ilya's promo from earlier on. Charlotte defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Roxanne Perez. AJ Styles calling out uh, Chad Gable for a rematch from uh, their match a couple of weeks ago where Gable won. And Finn Balor versus Randy Orton in the main event. A last man standing match. I don't even, honestly, I don't think we'll even wait for the fucking pay-per-view to do the Universal title match. We'll probably just do it on SmackDown next week. Because we got fucked over, we can't do it tonight. We'll just do it on SmackDown, whatever. Uh, show logistics, new arena, backstage crew. Oh, great. So, let's buy this. I mean, first of all, before we go further, we completed this, completed this. Surpassed $600,000 in the bank. Um... I guess that will get us one trophy. I just don't really care about the trophies. I mean, if they win, they win. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just want to do the arena. So, I mean, like I, I say that as far as, like, I'll just waste the money. Or not waste the money, but I'll spend it and buy it. So we will buy the SummerSlam arena. Perfect. Can we buy this? Backstage crew, we can. Unlock cost $50,000. Yes, we will buy that for 50000 And we will do backstage crew. Basic lights in effect and basic local signs and flyer advertisements. All right. I don't think we're going to use any of the power cards. I mean, I guess we could use To the Moon. Um, Ilya in his next match. Core's popularity is 55. Let's, let's use it on him. We'll use one of them on her and we'll use the other one on Ilya next week. Yes, confirm. Cool. Got that Cameron Grimes power card going. All right, I think everything is all set for next week. So this is what our SummerSlam show is going to look like. Otis versus Wesley, one-on-one -on -one with interference from Chad Gable. Ilya Dragunov calling out Shinsuke Nakamura. Sami Zayn defending the Intercontinental Championship against Matt Riddle. Um, Bailey calling out Roxanne Perez. Rhea Ripley facing Cora Jade in a Extreme Rules match. Um, Shinsuke accepting the challenge from Ilya earlier. Cora Jade, uh, or not Cora Jade, rather, Roxanne Perez challenging Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship. AJ Styles calling out Chad Gable for a rematch on SmackDown next week. And Finn Balor uh, versus Randy Orton in a last man standing main event. 
we'll probably we'll watch multiple matches. We typically do in the pay per view shows. We'll watch boom. We'll watch this, and we'll watch. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably watch either. You know, we'll probably watch the last four and then simulate that one. So that's probably how the show's going to go next week. All right, perfect. I look forward to it. Thank you guys for checking out episode four of hashtag GSM4GM here in WWE 2K23. <clears throat> My GM mode. I appreciate you guys checking out the show. And uh, if you haven't already, check out all the other episodes to kind of catch up with what I've been doing in my booking so far here on SmackDown. SummerSlam should be a strong show. I've essentially given up winning this game. So that if, you're, if you're watching to see me beat Raw in NXT, uh, you're in for some unfortunate luck because that's probably not what we're going for. I'm just going for a good show. I would do this in universe mode, but universe does not have promos like this does. And now that they made the necessary changes to GM mode, I probably prefer this anyway. So uh, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews. Have an awesome one, guys, and I'll catch you guys down the road.